You can come in. Be quiet while the patient is still resting. You really did a number on him. Oh, I'll be quiet then, Chopper. I had you some tea made by Sanji. He made us some Earl Grey with blueberries. <laughs> it is so delicious. Ah, anyways, how is Usopp doing? Do you think he'll be able to have some tea here soon as well? Yay! Thank you for the tea. Sanji makes the best Earl Grey. He must have known this was going to be a long night. But, hmm, his vitals are looking all right. Maybe he just hit his head too hard. You guys really went at it, didn't you? Of course. It was for Lady Nami's honor. I could not let such a rude person such as Usopp make her feel uncomfortable. Well, what happened? I actually didn't see any of it this time. Only when Zoro came to wake me did I know Usopp was even in here. With such a large bump on his head, too. It's a shame. I was having such a nice dream, too. Ah. Well, let me take you back to earlier this evening. You know we've been docked here in this little port town for several days. As Luffy and Law have to look into something, I decided that if we're going to be stuck here, the Soul King needs to play, baby. So, at this little tavern down the road here, you see, I was having a huge performance, one that this town had never seen before. The owners of the bar have been a fan of the Soul King for years, baby. Used to follow our little band around. So I was honored to be able to play here when they asked. With live music, the bar owner offered the other straw hats free ale as well, on my behalf of playing. I figured we've had a long trip. A night of fun would be nice for everybody. Why didn't you invite me? I would have gone. You know I love to hear you sing. I haven't heard a performance from you in a while, and I am ready to dance my boogie off. What happened? Yo -ho 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 -ho. I know you are my biggest fan, Chapa-san. But the problem was is that the show didn't start until 11, and we all know that you don't stay up past 9 p.m. I was just making sure that your sleep was uninterrupted. But I was going to play a small set when Sanji made breakfast for us, just so you wouldn't miss it. Ah, uh, but I can't go to breakfast today since I have to take care of Usopp. So you owe me. But again, how did this happen, Brooke? When did the fighting begin? Was it because of another joke about bones? Or did Usopp have too much to drink? I told you, Chopper, it's about Lady Nami's honor. I may be a skeleton, but I am always going to be a gentleman. <laughs> Oops, it looks like I may have woken up Usopp. Usopp, are you okay? I am terribly sorry for any inconvenience I have bested on you. It's alright, Usopp. Don't try to get up. While you were out, I ran some tests on you. Your head was bleeding, so I needed to make sure everything was fine. So I ran some x-rays and did a brain scan. You can see here that you've got a bit of a fracture up on the forehead. It appears you were hit hard with something. Okay, Usopp, let's do some tests. I want to make sure your motor functions are not hurt. Sometimes a huge head injury can really mess you up. So I've got this flashlight. Let's see if you can follow it. Let's see if you can follow it with just one eye. Now the next. Why yes, Chopper. Even though I don't have eyes anymore, I can see the light just fine. Brooke, that doesn't count for you. Okay. Now I've got this little hammer and I will hit your knee with it. I just want to make sure your legs are working right. I 
know it may seem silly, but do you remember when one of Sanji's siblings had hurt their head? He couldn't walk right for a few hours. So I just want to make sure that you are all good to go with your coordination. Alright, it looks good. Your motor skills are looking good, Usopp. That's always a relief. It's really good to see he will be alright. Because ho ho ho! Ho ho ho! Did he get hit with something really solid? And I fear it was my fault. I do want to take blame for what happened, but I always want to make sure he gets healed. I'm not sure if it works for you like this, Usopp, but for me, I always drink milk to make my bones super strong. That's why I only have one crack in my skull, you know. Oh, Brooke, whole milk works for you. That isn't going to help Usopp. I did make sure to use some local plants to make some painkiller medicine for you. You need to just not get into any more fights. So what exactly happened? Well, you see, Usopp had a few beers, and after my performance, Nami was smiling, and I could tell she was enjoying the show. So, I asked her if she could throw some of her panties my way. <laughs> she didn't like that too much, so she smacked me on the head, and I guess I do deserve it. That's when Usopp got up and started getting really angry, irate even, and challenged me to a fight. So, how is the fight starting with you helping reclaim Nami's honor? It sounds like you weren't being nice when you asked for her underwear. Well, it did upset me, because I was honorable in asking for her panties right away. Whereas we all know Usopp sneaks in to steal them every now and again, and I think that's dishonorable. So when Usopp got up from the table, I readied myself. I was ready to fight. And then, as he was coming my way, he slipped on an ice cube and fell over and hit his head on the table. Zoro and myself picked him up and took him to you. It makes me feel really bad, though, because he would have never tried to fight if I had not been in the moment and asked for some of Lady Nami's panties. Wow, that is quite the story. So Usopp did this to himself. Interesting. Well, he should be. Hey guys, Luffy's back. Come up on deck. Yo -ho 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 -ho. Our captain is back. I can't wait to see him and sing a song of his adventures. Wow, seems he's back. That was fast. Come on, Usopp. Let's not keep him waiting. <laughs>